Hello and welcome! In this video, we will discover how to be charming without really trying. Some people light up a room just by walking into it. Conversation with them flows. It is simple and easy. They are lovable, the life of the party, and to top it all, they pull it off with an effortless cool. Charming people waltz their way through the world, making connections and getting things done, while the rest of us blunder our way through the day, just barely keeping it together. It is honestly quite unfair if you think about it, how some people just exude charisma, while we are stuck with nerves, social anxiety. But here's a little secret. While it is natural to assume that charm is some innate, God-given gift, <laughs> the reality is, like anything else, being charming is a skill. With a little bit of practice, time and effort, you too will be able to charm the pants off anyone in your vicinity. If you are looking to appear more approachable and friendly and are willing to put yourself out there, we have some tried and tested tips that can help you up your game. Whether it is your high school prom or a fancy social gala, these tricks will win you some major points. Just before we dive into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to download your free book to change your life by clicking on the link in the description below the video. Break the silence. <laughs> if you begin to hear the crickets in back or feel a sudden urge to talk about the weather, it is probably a sign that your conversation isn't going too well. Awkward silences are where conversations go to die. There is absolutely nothing worse than sitting through an uncomfortable silence with meaningless conversation starters sitting at the tip of your tongue but <sighs> no words coming out. Lesson number one in Charm 101 is to break the silence as quickly as possible. Skip the idle chatter and lead with a more interesting observation. Compliment their shirt and ask them where they got it from. Try to keep the conversation flowing. Ask leading questions rather than making affirmative statements that may put an end to the conversation. And as a last resort, if all else fails, try saying, Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Addressing the awkwardness is far better than sitting in it. This also gives you an easy segue into something more conversational. So, make a joke, get a few laughs, and move on from the silence. Search for similarities. The key to keeping a conversation engaging is to find ground that you share in common. It could be a band that you enjoy or an experience that you happen to share. Having similar interests is a great way to get to know a person. It keeps the conversation moving and also makes you appear far more approachable. When you find these areas where you share similar opinions with the other person, it shows you in a positive light and automatically makes a conversation more memorable. People love having their ideas and opinions validated, and when you find commonalities with others, it becomes much easier to come off as naturally charismatic. This does not mean that you have to be disingenuous or pretend to agree with someone when you don't. Uh, simply steer the conversation towards the things that you may have in common and stick with them. Remain respectful. There's a thin line between being charming and being sleazy. Minding your P's and Q's, like your mother told you to, makes all the difference in the world. When interacting with other people, it is important to remain polite. Compliment people and mean what you say. Do not talk about people behind their backs or gossip about them. Do not ask invasive questions or make offensive comments. Be mindful of people's personal space. If you disagree with someone, do so with grace, because at the end of the day, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Treat people with respect no matter who they are. Be it your waiter or your wife, it is important to treat people with dignity and kindness. Wish people a good day, hold the door open for a stranger, thank people when they do something nice. 
Good begets good. So always be on your best behavior, and the rest will fall into place. Lend a listening ear. One of the easiest things to do around other people to win you instant bonus points is to listen. Plain and simple. People enjoy talking about themselves. It is what they know the most about. So, ask them questions about what they do and what they like and all you have to do is listen. Listening to what a person has to say is a great way to make people feel like what they are saying matters. It makes them feel important and special. Beware, however, of being a passive listener. Don't zone out or check your notifications. Your phone can wait. Don't look around distractedly or fidget nervously. It shows anxiousness or worse, disinterest in the conversation. Make sure you interject at the appropriate moments. Ask meaningful questions about what the person is talking about. Take an active interest in getting to know the person. Being able to listen is a great quality and an effortless way of instantly appearing more charming. Talk less, smile more. There is nothing more appealing in a person than their smile. Smiles are inherently charming and a great way to appear more naturally friendly and approachable. Think about it. You are far more likely to want to talk to a person who is smiling and laughing than someone with a scowl pasted on their face. So, just smile more. Smile at a random stranger on the subway. And smile to yourself when your favorite song comes on. It is positive, pleasant, and an absolute joy to be around someone who smiles a lot. Not to mention, smiles are rather infectious. So flash those pearly whites and turn up your charm to level 100. Remember details. Pay attention to details. An often overlooked yet rather significant characteristic of people with charm is that they are extremely good at remembering names. Knowing people's names instantly sets you apart and also makes other people feel good. Now, this can be a difficult task, especially if you are being introduced to a number of people simultaneously. Try repeating their names back to them when you speak to them, or maybe introducing them to somebody else soon after so that their name sticks. You can also try alliteration or rhyming techniques to remember names. Remember details about the person from your conversations with them so that you can make references to them at a later date. Ask your client about their new baby or your classmate about their opinions on the latest episode of their favorite show. Though this may seem difficult, it will go a long way in making a lasting impression. Body Language Another trick to appearing charismatic is to radiate the charm and the confidence that you want people to see in you. This aura of cool, calm, and suave has everything to do with body language. When you walk into a room, walk with confidence. Avoid hiding away in corners until it's all over and make your presence known. Don't shy away from introducing yourself to other people. Lead in with a firm handshake and get the small talk up and running. Stand tall, shoulders pushed back, and head held high. Steer clear, however, of arrogance or cockiness. You need to be confident and comfortable in your own skin, not domineering and rude. Always make eye contact with people. It shows that you are sure of yourself and are listening with interest to what they are saying. Watch your tone to make sure that you come off as approachable and not aggressive. Use a gentler, deeper voice to really turn on the charm. Confidence in yourself enhances your spirit and charisma. So, even if in reality you feel closer to throwing up, <laughs> just take a deep breath and fake it till you make it. Eventually, it will start to feel more natural. Meditate. Now, this may sound like one of those pointless hippy-dippy methods that make no sense, but we promise you that we have a point. So stick with us, and you will see why meditation can make a pretty significant difference to your charming abilities. 
A lot of people are able to effortlessly work their charm simply because they are able to read the room and understand people better than most others. This is where your ability to listen to others will really come in handy. As they are able to perceive and affect other people's emotions, they are also able to more or less understand how to behave around certain people. This means that whether a person needs a shoulder to cry on or a voice of reason, a charming person will be able to adapt accordingly. For a lot of people, empathy is something that they have to work at to achieve. Being able to see things with another person's point of view is no easy task. Meditation can be a helpful activity when attempting to become more empathetic. Meditation promotes mindfulness as well as a higher sense of self. Mindfulness about one's own self is a huge step towards being able to accurately gauge other people's emotions as well. This makes it much easier to read social situations and act accordingly. Be real. The key to finding your inner charisma is to bring down the walls that keep you locked away from the world outside. Being charming isn't about playing a character or putting on a facade. Though some actions may seem a little unfamiliar or even strange at first, the end goal is for your charm to be natural, effortless, and 100% unique. So, let your guard down. Don't hide your emotions behind an impassive, unfeeling wall. Get excited, get impressed, get angry, even. Make mistakes as many as you like but own up to them as well. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be your authentic self. Own your flaws, just as you would your strengths. If you want to be charming, you have to be human. That means accepting the good with the bad. If your charisma is just an act, people will see right through it, and your results will only be short-term. So, Allow yourself to be vulnerable and real with people, because that is who people will fall in love with. Happiness loves company. People are charming because they make other people feel happy, loved, and valued. You can only do this when you feel happy, loved, and valued yourself. So take time out to do things that make you happy. Find your own inner peace, and the charm and confidence will come following along. Surround yourself with the people who make you feel comfortable just being who you are. Do the things that you love. Start looking at the glass as half full. Though this may seem annoyingly optimistic and cheerful, there is a truth to it. This highly sought-after charismatic appeal that you are looking for actually resides within you. It is an attitude, a positive frame of mind that can be shared with other people. When you find that love within yourself, that is when the charming will really begin. As you can see, there is so much more to the art of charm than just mastering the classic wink and smirk. Being charming is, well, it's almost as much about being able to love yourself as it is about loving being around other people. Lucky for you, both are skills that you can learn over time by putting these tips into practice. So, get started and dazzle the world with your inner star power. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. You are also free to receive the new book, 7 Secrets to Change Your Life Now, by clicking on the link in the description below the video.